Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how the position fixed property will be useful in our real time world. Let's try to see it. So, for example, let's say that in a, in a website application, I want to make a fixed header and a fixed footer so that the footer and the header should remain at the top and also in the bottom respectively. And the content should be scrolled between this one. So how we can do this one, let's try to see it. I will try to show you in the real time. For example, this is the layout.html. I am taking the blueprint. And here I will be having a container. Okay. In this one, I will be having a header. And we can have a main. And also I can have this footer. Okay. So these are the two things. So header is nothing but what I can say. This is a heading. I can use it. And main means we can use some paragraphs. I can have it. So I will try to give. And here also this is a footer. So this is the basic thing which I am having. It. Let's try to see the output. If I try to open this one in the output. So here I can open this one. This is a heading. This is the output. We are able to see it. Now what I want to do is. Let's try to design some data. Some CSS. So here the body. I am taking it as margin 0 pixel. And the background color, I want to apply it as something like hash a. Now, if you see the output, so the entire background color should be in the hash a, and I need to add a link here. A link layout.css. And if you see here, we are able to see. And now, what I want to do is so here, body we have got it. And let's take a container. And in this container, I will apply a background color of hash fff now see the background color it is there now what i want to do i will apply a width of 80 percent okay and margin auto so that it will be at the center now see here we are able to see its center now heading and this is a footer i want to make this one as somewhat uh, design so header comma footer i will try to take the thing and background color i want to apply here zero and keep some padding 20 pixel comma 0 pixel mm, color of white so i will write a color of white and i will give text align center so that it will the content will be in the center see the output here yeah so this is the output so if you want to make this one footer always should be at the bottom means you can use the flex command flex direction row column and you can make this a flex grow one so these are all the things you can make it so but i am not trying to tell when we learn the flex concept in the next say next sessions the flex layout thing then you will be able to understand it right now we i am trying to maintain this one as simple now here we got the content and all those things let's try to add some of the content here if i want to add some of the content here i can use something like p and i want to repeat this one 10 times and i will use the lorem ipsum like this so we are having the like this now here this is the content now when i add these all content paragraph content automatically if you try to observe so the footer has been pushed to the bottom so now i am not able to see the footer in the viewport in the viewport i am not able to see the footer but the footer is at the bottom so what i want to do I want this heading and the footer should be always up, always should be sticked to that fixed at the top and the bottom respectively. It should be like this. But here the footer has been gone at the top and the header when I, while I am scrolling it is at the top only. It is going away. So it should not be happen like this. So for that one what we can do. So we can make this one as position fixed. Okay. So now when I apply this one as position fixed. So let's try to see how could be the output. If you try to see the output. So this is the heading. This one is appearing like this. The width of this one has gone away. Why? Because the content had this. this the heading. The element has became out of this viewport. And here also the footer if you try to take. The footer is also not there here. So now what I want to do here. So for the header. Okay. For the header. I want to make it as top 0 pixel for the footer I want to make it as bottom 0 pixel so I want to apply it like this let's try to see how it will apply so now I am able to see the heading and also the footer at the top and bottom but this one is having only the how much content is there that much content space only it is taking but it should not happen like that it should take the 100% of this 
container width so what i can do so this is the common problem which you will be getting all the time so when you are right to do in the real time so when you suddenly convert that element to the fixed thing automatically the width will collapse automatically so in order to retain that width how we can do it i am trying to explain it here so here if you try to go top here we are having a container width of 80 percent right so what i will try to do is here i will apply width of 100 percent for this one so if i apply width of 100 percent for this one see automatically the width has been increased to here why because the width which we are trying to apply 100 percent means it is trying to take the width of the viewport okay it is trying to take the width of the viewport so that is the reason 100 percent it has to but it should not happen it like this so for this reason what we can do is so now here i can take width of 80 percent and i can apply this width of 80 percent for this one let's try to see the output now it has applied correctly perfect so when i apply the parent width how much it is there and as the same width if i want to apply it means so it has applied the same thing exactly but here the problem comes here what is the problem is for example for some reasons i have changed this one to 70 percent the container and now the problem comes again so this one also i need to change it to 70 percent so wherever i am using like this means i need to change it to 70 percent so sorry not 8 70 percent 70 percent so now this one will work fine but this should not but this could not be the right thing right why because we are having we are duplicating the css so for that reason what you can do is so you can use it as max width of 70 percent or 80 percent so previously and when you apply this max width of 80 percent then automatically the css will go away so here we have applied width of something like right so now i can make it as width of this one also i can take width inherit okay and the max width okay max width also it should take inherit so that's it so if you try to see here then also it is taking something like this why because we have applied width as inherit so now for the container you can mention as width of 100 percent that's it now if you take width of 100 percent and i am inheriting this width and max width from here if you try to see here the same output we are able to get the same output but this time we are using the width in the one place now if i want to change the max width for this one so i can change it to 70 percent here if i change it to 70 percent see the automatically has been decreased so wherever you want to apply it here the responsive thing and all those things so the width will remain always the same and the head header and the footer also is remaining at the top and bottom respectively now what i want to do is i can apply some padding to this main content so i can take this main content and i can apply some padding of around 50 pixel comma zero pixel i can apply it so that i can get some padding here see i am able to get it so this is how we can rectify the common practical problem for the fixed thing so whenever the width is not applying whenever you do the position fixed to a particular element automatically the width will collapse so if you want to retain the width of the parent element means we need to use this max width and width thing so this type this type of uh, trick will help you to retain the width of a fixed element hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you